let's discuss confusing vasopressors and their indication first is noradrenaline or norepinephrine it mainly acts on the alpha more than beta adrenergic receptor it is an initial vasopressor of choice in patients of septic shock cardiogenic shock and hypovolemic shock but in case of cardiogenic shock with low ejection fraction we need certain agent we should increase myocardial contractility right and that's why we prefer dobutamine in patients of cardiogenic shock with low ejection fraction provided patient's bp is being maintained also dobutamine can cause hypertension because it reduces systemic vascular resistance along with that dobutamine can be used as a add on with norepinephrine to achieve map goal next is epinephrine epinephrine also acts on the alpha receptor but its action on the beta receptor is better than the norepinephrine therefore if patient has a refractory shock even though norepinephrine is being used you have to add on epinephrine but remember epinephrine can cause tachyarrhythmias and it can also increase lactate levels because it causes mesenteric ischemia along with peripheral ischemias next is pure vasoconstrictor and adh analog yes you are correct vasopressin vasopressin should be used with noradrenaline when patient's map goal is not getting achieved and you have to reduce the norad dose because patient is having tachycardia but remember as it is a pure vasoconstrictor it can reduce stroke volume and cardiac output thereby precipitating ischemia in coronary artery disease patients therefore it should be cautionly used in patients of known heart diseases next is dopamine it acts on alpha beta and dopamine receptor it can be used in shock in selected patients that is shock with bradycardia last is phenylephrine phenylephrine is pure adrenergic vasoconstrictor it is used as a salvage therapy if patient doesn't recover from shock and are having tachyarrhythmias on usage of noradrenaline and adrenaline thanks for watching guys i hope you learned about the vasopressor in nutshell finally you guys let me know what is the role of levosomine done in heart failure in the comment section and don't forget to save this video share with your friends and keep following me for more such content